Hello and welcome to another episode of Homework with Miss Thomas. Today we will be working through this objective. Multiply two-digit multiples of 10 by two-digit multiples of 10 with the area model. So we're going to be expanding our thinking and our work with multiplying multiples of 10 and we'll be using area model. We'll be using place value too, um, but the new part would be using area model. All right, let's jump right into it. I don't know where my work went, there we go. Okay, so for the first number one, it says represent the following problem by drawing this in the place value chart. All right, so we are solving. There we go. We're solving 30 times 60. Sorry, my computer is just doing its own thing. All right, 30 times 60. <clears throat> so we can think of 30 as, so this 30 here, we can think of that as three tens. So I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna do three tens times six which means I'm going to do this three tens six times. So essentially I'm doing 30 times 60. I'm doing three tens six times. So I already had it one time, here's two, three, four, five and six. Now I need to multiply that times 10 because this 60 is six times 10, right? So I pretty much just decompose this 60 into six times 10. I did three tens times six. What happens when I multiply this times 10? This value moves up to the next place value. So this, in the hundreds, it would be three tens times six. Well, then it would be three hundreds, right, times six. Now what is that? That would be 18 hundreds, right? 18 hundreds. We know that 18 hundreds, I can take 10 and that would be 1,000. So that would be 1,008 hundreds or 18 hundreds. So all of these answers, 30 times 60 is 1,800 or 1,800. Now to draw an area model. An area model means I'm going to find the area of a rectangle that has the dimensions of 30 times 60. That's three tens. Or, well, this is probably more like the six, right? Six tens and then times three tens. That would be six times three, which would give me 18. And then 10 times 10, which equals 100. 
right? If I broke this up into three by six, each of these tiny sections is 10, right? All of these are 10 on each side. So that means each of these spaces is 100. All of this is 100. So that will be 18 100 times, right? Or 18 hundreds. Or 18 times 100. All of it equals 1800 or 1800. For number three, they want us to draw an area model that represents 20 times 20. So this time the rectangle would be 20 or two tens by two tens. So this is more of a, it, not more of a square, it is a square, right? Each of these sections would be 100, right? Two times two is four, so that would be four hundreds. Right, that 10 times 10 equals 100. So that would be 400 because two times two is four. So 20 times 20 equals 400 or 400. For number four, we're going to do an area model for 40 times 60. That would be 40 or four tens times 60 or six tens. Or again, this is the longer side. So this is probably more of the six and this is more of the four. That would be six times four, right? Six times four, that's 24 times 100 because each of these spaces is 100, right? Four times six times 10 times 10, or four times six times 100, which is 24 hundredths in uniform and 2,400 in standard form. All right, for number five, they want us to rewrite each of these in unit form and then solve. So we have 50 or five tens times 20 or two tens. Again, that 10 times 10, that's how they got this hundred. So that would be five times two times 100 or 10 hundreds, 10 hundreds equals 1,000. For 30 times 50, that would be three tens times five tens, which is 15, right? Three times five is how I'm getting that 15 hundreds, or 1,000, oops, comma in the wrong place, 1,500. Next up, we have 60 times 20. 60 is six tens, 20 is two tens. That's six times two is how they're getting this 12. 12 what? 12 hundredths. Because 10 times 10 equals what? Yes, 100. So six times 20, 60 times 20 equals 12 hundredths or 1,200. For 40 times 70, 40 is four tens, 70 is seven tens, four times seven is 28, 10 times 10 is 100, 100, so that would be 28 hundredths or 2,800. Please rewind if you missed any of that. For number nine, there are 60 seconds in a minute. 
and 60 minutes in an hour. How many seconds are in an hour? In one hour. So I'm going to do an area model. We know that there are 60 minutes, 60 seconds in a minute, but then 60 minutes in an hour. So I'm multiplying 60 or 6 tens by 60 or 6 tens, which would be 6 times 6 times 10 times 10, right? 6 tens times 6 tens. Is 6 times 6 times 10 times 10, <clears throat> which is 6 times 6 times 100. 6 times 6 I know is 36 times 100 is 36 hundred. Thirty-six hundredths is equal to three thousand six hundred. I'm going to type the answer in a statement. There are three thousand six hundred seconds because it says how many seconds in one hour. For number ten, to print a comic book, fifty pieces of paper are needed. How many pieces of paper are needed to print 40 comic books? So for this one, the area model would be 50 times 40. 50 by 40. Or 50 times 40, which is 5 times 4 times 100. Right? That 10 times 10, right? Five tens times four tens. That 10 and 10 is where I'm getting that 100 from. 10 times 10 equals 100. Five times four equals 20. Times 100 equals 20 hundreds. 20 hundreds equals two thousand right I can take two groups of ten right and move each group to the next place value because if I have ten then I can regroup so this would be two there are two thousand or I should say they need 2,000 pieces of paper for 40 comic books. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so that you can catch all the future videos. And until next time, please keep learning. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.